Good day everyone. Uh, just a little update on my uh, ZVS inverter 12, well, 6 to 12 volt to whatever the multiplied at the end. And uh, I finally boxed it in a little box. Had a little fan there to keep, thing, uh, keep things cool. Not that it actually generate lots of heat. And I had two types of output. I actually have, uh, I have a uh, AC high frequency output here which I can run standard fluorescent uh, light bulb or incandescent light. And I have a, a DC non-filtered um, output that I can use, for example, like here, a um, CFL bulb, which uh, actually doesn't like the high frequency AC because those diodes, well, some of them have good diodes uh, in there, but the cheap one actually have low frequency diode which can withstand up to I think it's a kilohertz or so so if I shoot about 50 kilohertz they tend to act like big capacitor and it actually heats up uh, quite fast and eventually uh, burn the only thing that I add to this little box here is a uh, reverse polarity uh, protection that will actually tell me that the polarity is in, is reverse why would i do that well just for fun basically since i'm going to be probably the only one who's, who uh, use that but uh, if someone actually use it beside me well if they connect it wrong it will actually uh, buzz and beside the fan and the regular the 5 volt regulator for the fan everything inside the box is actually made by me the uh, little oscillator for the buzzer is also made with a 2 NPN transistor. Very basic circuit, but it, it actually works quite well, as you can see. And here we go. There's the 13-watt uh, CFL at full brightness. And, of course, I can also run my 20-watt uh, fluorescent tube with that. And the only thing it does, it simply adds up to the amperage and everything is quite happy with that. So, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.